do is I'm going to hit the find button and choose geocache and you'll see that I've got a whole list of geocaches loaded in the device sorry that it's out of focus and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete all of them you can barely read that but that's the delete uh, menu item and then what it's going to happen is it's going to say do I want to delete all the symbols do I really want to do that I say yes and I hit yes and now all the geocaches are gone okay I've gone to the gpsbabble.org website clicked on the free download button that takes you to the download page scroll all the way down to the bottom and get the latest Mac OS 10 beta version which is what you can see that I'm downloading here once the download is complete you'll see that it opens a new window I have expanded the window and dragged the application to the applications folder in the applications folder you'll see the GPS Babel dash bin application and this is what the application looks like okay now we have to get the GPX file I dragged the pocket query from my email program and I dragged it to the desktop see that it's a .zip file. I double clicked on it and it created a folder of the same name. If you go into the folder you'll see that there are two files. You want the one that does not have the WPTS. Now we're going to open the GPX file and transfer it to the Garmin. You see at the top where the format is you want to make sure that GPX XML is selected. Then press the file name move the window down a little bit and navigate to the place where you have the GPX file. In this case I had it in the desktop in the folder that we created. Now below under output you'll see that I have selected device and Garmin serial USB protocol. That is what you need to select to be able to transfer it to the Garmin. With everything ready to go you hit the apply button and what you'll see is a new window pops up with the progress bar moving backwards and forwards and that's doing the actual transfer to the device itself. Once that's finished you'll see translation successful on the bottom of the window. Okay with the transfer successful let's just verify that with the device itself. I hit find, go over to geocache, hit enter, and you'll see that there is now a list of geocaches on the device itself. You select one, hit enter, and you can see the name. And that's all you need to do. Happy caching!